Okay, so in this video, we're going to be looking at a problem that is basically expressed first in, the, in terms of the xy plane. So we have this domain that is rather strange. It's sort of a semicircle here. And then we have the limits on x minus 1 to 1. And we want to integrate the following function. So we have the function y, and we want to take the double integral of that within this region. But we're given a simplification for the problem. We're given a, a transformation that basically takes this variable, so u, u squared minus d squared is equal to x, and then 2 times uv is y. And basically the domain is transformed into this little square, so that means that the limits of integration are now simplified, so we have just constant limits of integration, 0, 1. And basically what we're going to do here is we're going to transform this from these xy coordinates to the uv coordinates by performing the following integration. So basically what we're going to define here is the integration on d of this function is going to be equal to the integration on this new region of integration d prime to uv so basically we just replace y by the 2 uv transformation times the determinant of the Jacobian matrix of the transformation times dA. So this is a really, really interesting, really, really important concept, which because it means that we're going to implement the concept of the Jacobian, which we introduced in, in a few videos ago, and we're now going to be I implementing it to actually solve a double integral that requires the transformation into a new coordinate system. And this is something that we will be using in, in the next few videos as well when we talk about polar coordinates, cylindrical coordinates, and so on. So what we need to do here is we need to define the Jacobian. So the Jacobian determinant, as we know, is expressed as the partial of x and y with respect to uv, in this case. And that's going to be equal to the partial derivative of x with respect to u, then partial of x with v, then partial of y with u, and partial of y with v. And uh, if we look at the, the transformation we perform, the parametric equations, we have x equals to u squared minus v squared, so that means that the partial derivative with respect to u, that's just going to be 2u. Then with respect to v, we're going to have minus 2v. And then for y, we're going to have 2uv, so that means that the partial derivative with respect to u, that's going to be 2v and then to u. So we're going to evaluate this determinant by doing cross multiplication. So we're going to have in the end 2u times 2u, that's 4u squared, minus minus, so that's going to be plus 4v squared, which is the same as saying 4u squared plus v squared. And now in order to integrate, we're going to replace the, the area element by the new coordinate. So that's going to be du dv. And we're going to be careful because we need to make sure that we, we're integrating with respect to whatever is a function of something else first. So in this case, because both variables have uh, constant boundaries, it doesn't matter in which order we integrate. It's going to be the same. And the reason for that is that if we try to apply a transformation, as we did in the last video, by flipping this over and changing the axis, this is going to look exactly the same because of the symmetry of this square with respect to those axes. So it doesn't matter in which order we integrate this time. So this means that we can rewrite this integral as 0, 1, 0, 1. And now we're going to have 2 uv times the Jacobian or the determinant of the Jacobian, which is 4 times u squared plus v squared times du dv. So now we can simplify this, so this is going to become 8 times 0 to 1, 0 to 1 of the following function, so that's going to be u cubed v plus u v cubed, once we expanded that, du dv, and now we continue with the integration, so that's going to become 8 times integral from 0 to 1 of the following, so we integrate with respect to u first, so that's going to be u to the power of 4 times v over 4, plus 
u squared over t times v cubed and now we're gonna put 1 and 0 into u so now we're going to have 8 v over 4 plus v cubed over 2 dv and now we integrate once again with respect to v so this is going to give us 8 times v squared over 8 plus v to the power 4 over 8 from 0 to 1 so the 8 cancels out and then we're going to have this equal to 2 so this is going to be the value for integral and basically it is the same value that we would have gotten by performing the integration here but the main difference is that we simplified the, range, the, the area of integration, the region of integration by performing this transformation. Now this transformation was given in the problem so it doesn't mean that we could have intuitively just derived this straight away but sometimes it might so happen that there are convenient transformations that can uh, significantly simplify the problem at hand and this is how you go about it to transform from a coordinate system to a different coordinate system what you do is you take your dA element and you're gonna replace every variable in the original integral or function by the new variables and then you're going to replace the element of area by the new element of area which is going to contain this scaling factor which is in fact the Jacobian or the determinant of Jacobians but we sometimes just call it the Jacobian as well because we use it in, in its determinant form so this scaling factor is what's going to make sure that every single point gets projected into the new, this new area or region of integration so this is a really important concept that we will be using in the next video when we actually go about using polar coordinates to integrate functions of several variables